welcome to Spads episode 13. The title race, is it wide open now? Boys, what are we saying? Got to be looking at the points. Two horse race. Two so horse think, race. You think United and Arsenal? Uh, no, they think City, Liverpool, City Liverpool and Arsenal. They think. The two Uniteds knowing they're it. You don't think anywhere? So, do it. Obviously, Arsenal last two games have dropped points. Obviously, two losses and a draw. I think it's the last three Who's games. Who's this? Arsenal. Arsenal. Yeah. I don't know if it's in the league. One of them was no, in the they, cup, lo- they lost to. No, it was the FA Cup. Yeah, City, one to yeah. cut, and then they had one loss in the against Everton, and then, and then the draw, and yeah. then the draw against, against Brentford. Brentford. Great, yeah, great goal by Brentford. You know, onside and everything. Onside, yeah, absolutely 100%. no VAR mistakes. Yep. Yep. Um, that's what we like to say. But it's Arsenal's to lose. Do we think? Well, it was, it was always theirs to lose. Mm. Yeah, the gap's only five points. I know they've got two games in hand, but one game in hand on City. Well, yeah, one game in City, and they, and they play Wednesday. Wednesday, Arsenal. Yeah, Arsenal. Arsenal, Arsenal that's a Man big. City. It's and a big game. Three point Man City win that. That's at the level. Yeah, level on points. Yeah, and now that, that one's running away with it. I mean, and that, to me, it's got to bring United back into it, hasn't it? No. Why? You're not in a miles behind. They're not five miles. points is not miles behind. <laughs> two games more. <laughs> two games. Yeah, you lose. Yeah, they win. Arsenal win the two games. Yeah, that's, that's eleven points. They lose them. Yeah, it's still five. The points. magic eleven points. Yeah. Dave. Yeah. yeah. 11 hey, points. Magic Liverpool, 11 points. That's it, yeah. You know, <laughs> top four. You're just four. assuming that. I mean, this yeah. I mean, this Premier League, I mean, you cannot predict. I mean, some of the results, you just can't predict them, can you? That's it. Yeah. No, but do we actually think, though, talk about United, then. Let's talk about that for a second. We, us three are United fans. Dave's a Liverpool fan. Yeah. Do we, as United fans, genuinely think we're in the title race this season? We've got to look at the games and the scores. When was the last time we lost a game? When was the last time Arsenal lost a game? You lost, a, you lost yeah. to Arsenal. We lo- yeah, it was the last time we lost. Which is one in what? I don't know. I'm not a United fan. Well, that was oh, the first. No. I think it was the first defeat in eleven games yeah. when yeah. they lost to when they lost. And then to you dropped points against. But Leeds. do you feel like you're in the title race? Because I, I don't feel we are. I think we're. I don't feel we are, but it it's not for. I mean, it's as if we're just like giving up, even mm. though we're that close. Mm. I know they've got games in hand. The way that this season is, you just can't... It only takes... Like, I know you're assuming if Arsenal win their games in hand and stuff, it only takes them to draw a couple. Sure. And all any team in that Premiership, all the, you know, Everton, all this, any of those teams can get results now. Mm-hmm. So, I think yeah, that's what, it's you know, wide open. That's the problem. Yeah. I think you can't pick a winner. Do you Dave, think it's Dave wide open, though? Or do you think it's yeah. Well, just yeah, because it's, there's right. still three teams in it. Three, four. Well, four teams. Well, yeah, you, you, if you're only just include, gone halfway. If you're going to include yeah. United, you've got to include Could Newcastle because yeah. they're only a couple of points. And how many games have you got left? Yeah. Loads. Yeah, there's still there's still plenty of football to go. But I don't, I don't even as you know, I don't feel like it's wide open. I still feel no. it's almost a two. As much as I want us to compete, I don't know. I just don't know if it's just too early, too uh, too soon. Are we trying to talk ourselves out of it? Because like, maybe, yeah, but then I think that's probably because not a bad thing. We're not getting over. We're not getting over the top while we're saying no. We're back in it. But well, you just said you are in it. No, no. Well, no the point is, you make the your point mind is, up. The points say we are in it. Yes, exactly. The, the points don't. The table say. says we are in it. Yeah, yeah but then the points say but everyone down. To realistically, yeah. we probably yeah. Realistically, yeah. realistically yeah. everyone can still win it. Realistically, I don't know, I don't know if mathematically no. everyone can still. Well, win. No. No. Liverpool finish, mate. So that's the yeah, day. They're <laughs> finished. Yeah. Just, just you, leave it there. You, You're done. You might be laughing you now, but potentially we could go on a massive run. And you can lose all your games. You know, it's exactly the same. You know, Liverpool getting all their players back fresh. Yeah, but, okay, but using I could that get theory, called up then, to live this week. Using that theory you just said there that they could go and we could go on a mass lose streak and you could win your all. Then Man United are in the title race. You just said they're not. And then just using that theory where we could win every game yeah. and Arsenal could lose them all, then yeah, we are in the title yeah. race. Like, 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 Make your know. fucking mind up, <laughs> right, mate. But like you right, just said, though, everybody's like, still in the title race. Right, yeah, everyone, theoretically. Yeah. Kev, that always sounds like comparing Klopp and Solskjaer's record yeah, together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know. That went down well with the Liverpool <laughs> fans, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, we upset a few yeah. Liverpool fans uh, this yeah. week. Oh, but no. Only because the Liverpool fans didn't listen. Are you nearly, you're watching the game, aren't you? Uh, 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 yeah, Phil. Ever, so Phil. Everton versus Liverpool is on currently. Dave's obviously a massive Liverpool fan. He's here under duress. Everton um, is 6-0 up. Yeah. <laughs> not, I wish, not yet. I, <laughs> I wish they were. But So look at it, look, the next, I, I think interestingly, looking at, at the, the next five games, I think Arsenal have the better running compared to everyone else. Yeah. So Arsenal's next five games, they've got City at home, they've got Aston <laughs> Villa away, uh, they got... Uh, Leicester away Everton at home and then Bournemouth at home City would you say that's an easy run well but it is when you City, compare they've lost to the Everton next, the next 
but the other teams around them, City, okay, they've got Arsenal, Forest, Bournemouth, Newcastle, and Palace. Okay, yeah. so it's your, yeah, right. But they've also yeah. got the Champions League and the FA yeah. Cup in yeah. between those five games, yeah. whereas Arsenal don't have. United have uh, Leicester, Liverpool, Southampton, Brighton, Newcastle, but they also have the Europa League, the, Cham- the yeah. Carabao Cup, Cup final, and the FA Cup yeah. Yeah. in between those five games as well. There's a bit of rotation there, isn't there? So uh, yeah, so United have got... It doesn't rotate, though, does he? No, not really. Yes, yes, yes. But, 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 but at least we'll have an excuse for being so, tired next season. Well, no, because you still got fresh players on the bench. But yeah, you shouldn't <laughs> rotate. You should keep your best eleven out, no matter what. They're professional footballers. If they can't play two to three games a week, I'm with you all the way. They are not professional. Rotation players. pisses me. Off. Yeah, yeah. Play your best team, even like you're playing in the FA Cup third round against a lower not league even about team. Being professional like, 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 like Reading, like you've had easy ties. Um, yeah. Got to be what's in front of you, Dave. <laughs> start with start with your best eleven. Win the first half. To be fair to him, that's what he always says. Though you know when we uh, played against Crystal Palace and we obviously said, "Oh, don't play Casemiro." No. He's like, "It's game to game." He literally you, you, said, "It's not yeah. game to game." I don't care who I'm playing after. It's game to game. Yeah, that's it. You um, got to play your best team no matter what to try and get that result for that game. Yeah. If you're winning the FA Cup three 0 at half time, yeah, take off. You know, you've yeah. got five subs now. Take off five people yeah. and then play a different team. At- Sorry, I don't want to interrupt you. Don't That's you. right. You're doing well, Lee, tonight. Um, already. You've it's got still to, time. For the fans as well, we don't want to see the shit players play. We want to play the best players play. Yeah. To play yeah, your yeah. best players. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we pay the wages effectively. Obviously, some obviously, teams don't have horrendous fast play subscriptions. <laughs> so, I want to see the best 11 out there. Yeah, yeah. No, there, there is an argument. We've we kind of gone on a different track there. I think, about, yeah, the best to be fair, there. personally, going back to like Arsenal's run, Man City run, I think, in a way, if Pep's clever, which I think he's kind of doing, obviously with all the whole they're being done for all those violations and all this they've done, he's kind of turning it like he's making these stories where he says about Gerard, oh, we did, we did, we make Gerard slip over and Man City's fought and stuff. Mm-hmm. He's kind of making it like us against them now. And I personally, I think Arsenal seem to be sort of a loss on a draw. It seems like Man City are now getting that run yeah, I- and he's using that. And I just wonder if it's the wrong time now for Arsenal because they're sort of obviously getting a draw and a loss. But City have always, always been good finishers. Yeah, yeah. they have. They, yeah. they have the yeah. finishers. Mm. Interesting as well, I was talking to Arsenal fans at work as well about this. The thing that worries me about Arsenal, I've said this before on the pod and stuff like that, is I think Arteta is maybe too emotional. Yeah. And I'll tell you the reason why. You see him on the sidelines. Mm. When they're losing, he doesn't say a word. Mm-hmm. When they're winning, he's run up and down the touchline like a maniac. Yeah. But the thing that makes me wonder the most if the pressure's going to get to him or he's going to fall apart is he wasn't like that as a player. Yeah. No, it was Arteta emotions, wasn't yeah. 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 No, a yeah. lunatic running around. He was one you brought on so to calm, study man. the thing. Mm. Calm, yeah. Yeah. But as a man- manager, he's all of a sudden now become this absolute lunatic. You've got, <laughs> but, if we're in a situation where they're losing... Does he know what to do? Does he know well, how I to make those changes? I think he looks a bit changes? scared when they're lost. Yeah. Yeah. Have they been in a situation where he's gone, right, I've really got to change this, I've got to do this, I've got to do that, and has he pulled it off? Yeah. I, I, I compare him to, you know when a keeper pulls off a worldy save and then he berates his defence like mm. it means nothing? I think Arteta's like that. When they're winning, he's like berating the team like yeah. it's sort of yeah. like the winning means nothing. And then when they're losing, he just sort of stands there with his hands in his pockets. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He doesn't know what to do, does he? So that could be that could be the biggest thing. But if we're going to pick, so we say that potentially the Champions League, the, the the Premier League is wide open. Do we? Does any of us give Newcastle a chance? Realistically, I know mathematically. No. Do any of no. us give Newcastle no. a chance? I think Newcastle winning, no. will do well to stay in that top four. Yeah, because yeah. they're not scoring as much now, are they? That's What's the it. point difference between United and uh, Newcastle? You got uh, a little bit. It's five points. Five points to United yeah. and Newcastle. One, one game in hand, Newcastle. Have. Okay, so it's potentially two points. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we're discounting Newcastle out of the title race completely. Yeah. Got, yeah, out of the yeah. title race. Yeah. Yeah. But they've got Spurs behind them. Yeah. They go and beat City and then lose to Everton. Absolutely battered by um, Leicester, sorry. But, okay, so do we think Spurs are in the title race? No. No, because no. it's so inconsistent. No. 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 Okay, no. so we've ruled them two so out. I think that's where we've got the thing. I think some teams... Like Man United, I wouldn't say they're inconsistent. I say, yeah, we've had a draw against Leeds and a win, but I wouldn't say we're inconsistent. I would say um, Spurs are. Yeah. Newcastle are a little bit like you know they're not scoring as many, so obviously it's. Um, so I think that's the difference where. Yeah. But in my opinion, I would say that for me, Man City are going to win it now. I think they're too close. I think if there was still that distance, and I think yeah. 
Arsenal sort of holding up a little bit and not getting the results now. It doesn't seem to be as fluid as what they were. You so know. you discount United and you discount Arsenal. Yeah, you I'll, think it's a yeah, city? Yeah. All right. Do, uh, what about you, Lee? Do you, are you saying United's out of it? No. So you think United's still in it? So yeah. then you think just, City, you've got to look at the cups and stuff. Arsenal haven't got any cups. No, that's, I think that really helps. Yeah. Yeah. Are they in Europa League though? No. no, no, no. Aren't they? No, I thought no. I thought they were in. No, the... they weren't in Europe. Yes, they were. Hundred percent in Europe. Are they? Yeah, they, got, they haven't they, got any they got fifth, up the next didn't... five games. No, they, yeah, they must be. They got fifth. Didn't yeah, they? they're in. They're in the Farmers League, aren't they? Or was that you lot in the Farmers no, League? We're no, we're. Right. They were in Europe. Yeah, because they oh, they got Barcelona. Yeah, because Tottenham got fourth, didn't they? But they are in it. Hundred percent. Yeah, Tottenham got. They haven't got any in the next five games. Yeah, because it's just the way it works. Fifth got. Oh my God, Europa League. Yeah, I didn't realise that. I was paying too much attention to my game. Dave, where's your notes? Right, I haven't got any notes. I don't need notes. I know they're in Europe. If you finish fifth. You get Europa League, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and they finished fifth because yeah. they slipped up to top and gave them fourth, mm. didn't they? They don't Gerald slipped. Yeah. So, so they're, they've got they're the in Europa League then? Mm. So, yeah. I don't know when they're playing next mm. thing because they're not playing certain. Mm. No idea. Unless you can't get knocked out already, can you? No, they're not knocked out of it. They qualified. Okay, so if you're joining us to the Spads podcast for the down <laughs> groundbreaking football, what we're talking <laughs> about. <laughs> <laughs> no, we have no idea. We think Arsenal, Arsenal potentially fans, in the OP. Fair, so. Anyway, the next five games, they definitely haven't got anything else to worry about apart from the Premier League. Yeah. Kev's now Googling it to try and find out because he's not 100% sure. Yeah. He's calling you a liar. I, I know. They, they're uh, out of all cups as well, are they? Or was that what yeah. we're saying? Just check. Well, the Carabao thought. Cup's only got one game left in it. So, no, no, the FA Cup, I'm sure. Oh, fuck knows. Yeah. Who knows? <laughs> they, they, are, they, they, they are out the FA Cup, Carabao Cup. Thanks for watching, guys. And Come they out. are in the Europa <laughs> League still. They are in the Europa yeah. League. Are you sure? He's still looking. Anyway. Anyway. So, my, my thoughts. You think, City, you think City will win the league? I, I, I think oh, City will, but I think Arsenal will push them a long way. Because I, I, I know earlier on in my pod, I said that, that you know, they haven't part. got the squad in depth. They, <laughs> they still well, haven't, but... They, they they brought very well in January and they're improving it and I just still think they will be there or thereabouts. That's the point. That's one of our first semi-viral videos was you saying Arsenal we haven't got the squad in depth. That's you it, upset yeah. all the Arsenal fans. <laughs> I upset the Liverpool <laughs> fans last yeah. week. And who, who are we going to upset this Arsenal week? Do you think Arsenal do have the squad this week? I don't think they've got the squad. They've got the yeah. team. They've definitely got a great... No, squad and team are different. They're starting 11 are good. That they they can potentially if they they're all on song they will potentially chase, put City all the way. They've got a thin bench, you know. They they haven't got a game changer on the bench, you know. Trossard, okay, yeah, he came on against Brentford, scored, so semi game changer. Torginio isn't a game changer. He's a game sure upper. Yeah, yeah. Kev's still good. Yeah. I'm well, why don't you put Arsenal Europa <laughs> League? I am. He doesn't know how to spell well, Europa. <laughs> <laughs> e. <laughs> That's as far as I know. I give up. Right, right so we <laughs> we're not sure. You you check, Dave. Yeah. Um, so anyway, so we're, we're basically saying that we think. So you think City are going to win? Yeah. You think City are going to win? Yeah, I just think they've got the more experience. To be myself. Who are you going with? I'm going with Arsenal. Yeah. You're going Arsenal. Okay. I'm going to go City. I think yeah. Arsenal will capitulate. Um, and Arteta might get a thing but who knows I would like to see Arsenal do it make a change yeah, I think Arteta's yeah. done fantastic no, I'm just going um, and uh, I think this yeah. business with City is going to yeah that could have, I don't think it affect him this, this no. interesting what I said to you boys earlier on that I see that article saying apparently Haaland and Pep don't have a good relationship mm. has anyone heard this before apart I from that I don't, I don't believe that I don't know round, round of 16 sorry just completely yeah. they, they are playing on the 9th of March which is their 6th that'll be why they're out so yeah. they are sitting in Europa League yeah. Yeah. so why are they so, playing so far because that's the way the Europa League works yeah okay, so. play yeah. Until March. Champions League runs for a couple of weeks yeah. and then the Europa League ah, comes back okay. play, play, play the best first and then let, let um, the minions play afterwards so yeah come back to did that's you see that season. Haaland and obviously Guardiola apparently have a terrible relationship mm. what do we think about that I mean, you can. I'm sorry. You can sort of see it possibly happening, but then is it just? You know, I mean, we ain't going to know too much. I mean, I haven't heard too much of it, mm. but I suppose because of the way that Holland was um, paraded around by his dad and all that, and like he was, you know, the big superstar and all that. I suppose it looks easy to say that. Sure. But, but Pep does have. He's who he is. He has had clashes with ex players before. Mm. I mean, is it, yeah, well, where's Cancelo now? That, yeah. Well, yeah, that's that's, still that, that's, that's what that article goes on to say. So basically, they think there's some rifts in that changer yeah. at the moment. Mm. The uh, Cancelo but, bust up. But then saying that, Fergie had it as well. But the, you have these players, you don't have to always get on with them. But you no. have, do you know what I mean? You have egos, and sometimes yeah. those egos go and do it on the pitch. And 
You know, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. I don't think he's going to leave or anything like that. Probably well, they're talking about him essentially looking to go at the end, look, looking to go at the end, looking to go in the summer yeah. um, before the two hundred million release clause kicks in because it doesn't click until the end of the following season. Because yeah. I suppose no one was going to pay two hundred million no, with exactly. all this no, financial fair play it, crap going exactly. on now. No, everyone's worried. Aren't so they? they're saying that he's potentially looking at going to La Liga in the summer. But it's the first time I've seen it. It was quite <laughs> yeah. a. Uh, it was from uh, Team Talk. Was the um, the article? Um, but it'd be interesting to see whether he would go. Do we think he'd leave though? <sighs> If they don't win anything. Yeah, well... If they get stung by the FFP, I guess. Yeah, that's yeah. it. You know, and they've got to release money. That's the easiest way. He's yeah. the, the, love the to top... The league, every, everyone wants him in their team. If you had the money... Oh, of course you would. You would, you would have him in your side. So I think, yeah, get rid of him if they have to. Fair enough. Um, obviously, the, the, the job vacancies is up at the moment. The, the Football Premier League merry-go-round that is job vacancies. Um, I'm disappointed that we haven't seen Big Sam rolled out yet, but I would imagine Big Sam's been lined up for the Klopp job. I see uh, Neil, yeah. Warner, Neil, <laughs> Neil Warner's come yeah. back. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say, he's like, <laughs> he's yeah, back come back to the Huddersfield. <laughs> yes, Neil <laughs> <Warner>. <laughs> 74 it is. It's <laughs> just <laughs> mental. It's like Roy Hodgson, isn't he? He just yeah. carries on going. He managed to be 93 <laughs> to 95, and he's just come back. <laughs> it's Man. crazy, but... Um, but yeah, like I say, I, I see Big Sam at Liverpool in the future. Um, but obviously, Southampton Dirty brand needs of, <laughs> a <laughs> dirty brand of football. That is, isn't it? Um, obviously, Southampton are now looking for a new manager. Obviously, Seth sacked um, Nathan Jones after just uh, ninety-five days. Yeah. Um, the people being banded about is obviously Jesse Marsh, who obviously just been sacked from Leeds. Um, Steven Gerrard, Ralph Has. Has, has, has he might do name. well there. I reckon he just, might. Just Ralph. Ralph, has, do. Ralph, who obviously just been sacked from Southampton before Nathan Jones mm. is talked about being back there. Um, Dean Smith obviously was of, of um, Norwich City, and Nuno Senso, who obviously was of Spain, now in the Saudi Arabia League. Yeah. Um, any of those picks? So if you was Southampton manager, would you like to see in get, the hot get seat? Parch back? You think Poch? Yeah, so he's that. not banned no, about, but is that too small for him? I don't yeah, he's just, to go yeah. from PSG he's for his ego, to probably. Yeah. He, he's, I think he's, he's got eyes like on there, like Chelsea and Spurs, isn't he? Isn't he? I Spurs, don't I rate him that highly. Mm. He's a good manager, but he's not a top six manager. I was um, so glad we got Ten Hag when we did. I wanted Ten Hag, not Poch. Yeah. So that was the, um, yeah. I, you know because I just think Poch has got this problem of getting him over the. I line. don't think he's got yeah. a backbone. That yeah, you no, need no. for a top six side. Yeah, he's everyone's he's friend. A, he's, yeah, he's a bit wet. But out of those there, out of um, obviously Jesse Marsh, Stephen Gerrard, Ralph Hassel, Hassel, whoever his freaking name is. I Hassel, Hassel, Hassel. I'd like to see Hoodle Gerrard also. go there. Would you? Yeah. How is he? Because they're probably going to go down anyway. Where are they? I'd give Gerrard. I, I, know, <laughs> I know. Obviously, towards the end at Villa, it didn't quite go up. I think they bought too many players a bit too quickly, and it was a bit like right, chuck him in here and. I, a little bit too went uh, too fast, but I, do you know what I mean. Like you say, if he's going to go down, yeah, he's got players to work with. Do you know what I mean? Let, How is he getting another top job? Who top manager? Yeah, but if he gets he's, relegated, he's he's done something. What's he done? He's won the Scottish League. I could win the Scottish League unbeaten <laughs> for a season. I could win the Scottish. League. Something. Ferguson couldn't do it in the Scottish League. <laughs> Don't compare yeah, There back you go. Back Ferguson and Gerard. Gerard's done a lot more in Scotland than Ferguson. Uh, who's 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 a uh, resume would you rather have? Would you rather have Gerard? Gerard. Gerard all day. The English one. <laughs> Gerard all day long. Um, he hasn't Villa, got a red face. I think Villa's a poison chance for most people. To yeah, it's a difficult job, isn't it? Because I think expectations are high at Villa. Yeah, but. You know, but then I think um, they've got the money. Em, em Ray's, he's just can't get the players. Though. I think Emre's a bit more experienced to deal with that. He's, he's, he's a he's a tactic. Really, yeah, he's a proper good manager. Mm. Talk brilliant. talk of the tactics just to, to um, bypass and circle back on Ten Hag with United. Well, obviously playing. Veg horse is a cart horse. I've come to the conclusion mm. he's not very good. Veg horse. No, he's, no, no, no. No, he's like he's, um, he tries well. hard. He runs around. He sort of. But we all could try hard and run well, around. I was going to say he kind of yeah. he kind of looks like I would do if I was up front for United. We're, I'd, we're I'd a little run bit around timber. a lot. But do you know he what? Yeah. Like you. Yeah. Do you know what? <laughs> it's a loan deal, and he's. You wouldn't you know, run around. Yeah, around but a lot like what him. was tactically good against the Leeds? I was watching that game, thinking I can't believe this withdrawn of them again. It shows yeah. how far mm. we are. Then obviously he played him as a number ten, put Rash in front of him. Tactically brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. You know, straight out of Solskjaer's handbook that was. Tony Klopp knew that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so you reckon you reckon you'd like to see Gerard? Yeah, I reckon something like that. Not Jesse Marsh. I don't see what 
I'd, I'd like to see Ralph back. I thought he did a good job there. I'm surprised they got rid of him in the first place. Yeah, I, I, I think he had his time there. I'm not sure. But, 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 I'm not sure Jared Le Bonico. No. Yeah. What, why would you want to go to a team like that for your second like big job? It's, yeah, it's going to be... Second big job? I thought you had the Rangers going. I, I didn't say it was a big job, did I? Yeah. I just said, you know, he's, yeah, he's but let's done... Yeah, let's be honest. Would he, if he was offered to manage in the Premiership again... After being sacked of Village, you think you'd turn it yeah, down? I, I don't yeah. think you would. I don't know. I, I just think bottom of the league, no. you'd turn it down all day long. I just, I just, I just think that people would. Uh, Especially just, when you've got Leeds looking for a manager as well. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> yeah. sorry. Talk, talk uh, about Everton that. just uh, hit but, the post. Did they? I um, he's talk, in the running for the Leeds job because loads. Well, yeah, that's down. that's nothing. So yeah. obviously Leeds are looking for. Get a in there, <laughs> <laughs> Mo Salah. <laughs> So Liverpool have scored. Obviously, this doesn't go out until hang Thursday. On, hang on, we've got VAR. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They yeah. might draw a line don't, don't somewhere. Don't get too excited. Oh, imagine uh, that. <laughs> so, yeah, Liverpool won that normally, Mo Salah. I don't normally Check. celebrate <laughs> until the bars shut up. You wait till I shout in a minute when VAR comes up. Yeah. Yeah. I won't tell you, don't worry. How scored in 2023, though? <laughs> Two? Uh, <laughs> Probably less. <laughs> right, so Leeds are also looking for a match. Let's get some oh, fucking Sorry, sorry, boys. sorry, boys. Um, obviously, Jesse Walsh has been sacked. Obviously, they've all sort of banned and all sorts of people about um, the replacement for that. So, obviously, they got that. Do you not think that's mad, right, with Leeds? They sacked him. Well, no, they backed him to get that Western, um, Ken, is it Kenny from um, uh, Juventus? Mm -hmm. Paid quite a lot of money for him and then sacked the manager that wanted him because that's I think he worked with him in another club. And they sack him, and there's no lineup. Like, where's the replacement? Yeah. Haven't, haven't they left his backroom staff as well? It's, it, yeah, it's like it's, so he's gone, but I his mean, backroom staff is still there. If you're going yeah. to sack a manager, at least have right. That's who we want to talk to. This is our idea. It sounds full it's, out. It's mad. And then they had well, they they tried to go for the guy at Anderlecht, wasn't it? Uh, is it Anderlecht? Well, they went for the West Brom manager. West Brom, Anderlecht, Anderlecht. Yeah. Celtic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tried them all, didn't they? Yeah. Tries them. Tries. Brian Klopp out. Well, they're, they're really looking for that Alfred Schultz. Yeah, well, he said no. I think, I think that's not happening now. Yeah, no, yeah, that's that's not he's the thing. Today. Obviously, Gerard's been kicked about. Obviously, potentially offering it to the under twenty one coach, that Michael Sekabu Bella, who's um, there at the moment. Obviously, Nuno Santo has been banded about again as well. So again, who would we like to? Obviously, Bielsa was banded about a bit at some stage as well so who do we think would fit it Leeds whoever's going to take him down I don't know, know nothing don't about all those in the running mm. no I, the so management I was, game is so yeah. just sparse where's Alan Pardew now <laughs> yeah. Yeah. he's in Greece yeah. I was going to say is he? he's, yeah, he's yeah. Abroad, isn't he? Alan Pardew we need to bring him out and Big Sam I'd like to see Big Sam in the uh, I think you never know he could turn up for Leeds he, he could he could do yeah. that's the kind of job he's got alright looking ahead to this this week um, it's a bit Bit batshit today, and it's all, we're all sorry, over the place. Sorry, sorry we're all boys, over the place. A... Um, obviously, tonight you've got Liverpool Everton, which yeah. we'll watch at the moment. Uh, Nunes assist. Liverpool Nunes assist. <laughs> he had a shot. Um, yeah, that's it, good he good he had a shot, to be fair, and it just you know screwed off over the assist. <laughs> poor <laughs> goal, to be fair, poor goal given by uh, Pickford. He's always, got, he's always got a mistake in Pickford mm. anyway. Um, Wednesday, obviously, we see top of the table clash. Arsenal versus Man City at home at Arsenal. Is that like the for sixth that? time they've played them this season? It seems like they've played them a lot. Yeah, it's but very close together because uh, the game got postponed in its office. So the two games mm. were closer together. Um, who are we picking for that? Flat Arsenal City. 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 At, at the Emirates. Think City. At the Emirates. City. Draw. Draw? City. Yeah, yeah draw. City. Draw. Draw. Kev. It's not, uh, at the it's not at the Emirates. Uh, oh, yeah, it is. It's at the Emirates. Fucking hell. Yeah, when you're oh, who you needs who notes? Who writes your notes for yeah. you? <laughs> no one. Last week you was talking I about the FA Cup. And it's it's print, yeah. Printed off the internet and it's still getting yeah. fucking wrong. <laughs> um, on Saturday, uh, we got Villa Arsenal. Villa Arsenal, so Arsenal play again yep. uh, Wednesday and Saturday. Villa Arsenal at Villa. You've got Brentford Crystal Palace, uh, Brighton Fulham. Uh, actually, Brentford Crystal Palace would be a good game. So is Brighton Fulham, I think. Yeah, actually. yeah. Um, good games there. Eh? Chelsea versus Southampton. What do, I, what, do we think of, what do we think of Chelsea at the moment, though? I, I, one minute I think they're doing better, and the next minute I just don't uh, No really consistency, know. is there? Yeah, it's strange. It's really they just weird. Play, just pl playing boring football again. I'm yeah. not playing well, you got 79 players to fucking choose from. <laughs> are you supposed to get any consistency in anything well, to like with your 11? No rotation. <laughs> oh, fucking I wonder nuts. if they've learned each other's names yet. <laughs> yeah. no. so they probably haven't finished they got, reading they got the name fucking badges. List. I was going to say, they put the name badges yeah. on the front. A lanyard. Everyone's got a lanyard. <laughs> um, Everton <laughs> Leeds. Um, um, that'll be a good game at Goodison Park. Uh, that's also on Saturday. Uh, Forest City. 
Wolves, Bournemouth, and Newcastle, Liverpool. That would be a good game. Uh, so yeah, some good yeah, games on, yeah, on yeah, Saturday. Very good game. Um, to pick ahead. Then coming into Sunday, um, we've got United versus Leicester and Spurs, West Ham. Could be a slip up for United, that. That's not going to be an easy game. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a it's good one. Like Spurs, Spurs, West Ham would be a, a, an interesting Yeah, that would be good as well. Because <laughs> yeah, you like think as shot. well, West Ham, David Moyes isn't doing overly well. So no. he's always he's fine for his job, I think. Spurs yeah, well, they're, they're, they're down the bottom, aren't they, in terms yeah. of what, what's the points? Is Kev, you got the you got the league. Yeah. West Ham have got. It, it might not be right. <laughs> to be fair, West Ham <laughs> are literally a two points clear of relegation. Are they? Yeah, yeah. Is that from yeah, this year? Is this? That's, he's got the Premier League. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a Division that's One that's from nineteen seventy six. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ipswich are up four. Yeah. <laughs> um, right, boys. I don't think we've got too much more to talk about. We're just sort of a bit. Uh, you know, ramble jamble a bit ramble jamble day. not loads to talk about no big FFPs no, just, um, just bar a bar yeah let's I, talk yeah. about that so I haven't actually seen it I see the controversy <laughs> on the thing I didn't get a chance to <laughs> busy <laughs> weekend news, just bar, bar, bar. yeah so yeah. Tell, us, tell us about the Arsenal Brent it was two instances wasn't it it's the Brighton game potentially yeah, and the Arsenal Brentford game anyone know the details someone fill us in because I don't know so I think with the Arsenal game it was Two offsides potential. One they looked at, the other one they just missed it completely. And he was in an offside position. They didn't draw no lines, nothing. The reason why? Just human error, they're saying. Yeah. Or they don't like Arsenal. That's a lot of people. Doesn't um, everything get checked by VAR? Well, it used yeah. to, and then so the, un fucking clear. Well, yeah. I think what used to when when VAR came in, they checked almost every mm. decision. They changed it, didn't they? Then they wanted to go. No, no, it's only there for clear and obvious mistakes. Yeah. So everyone was like, "Yeah, look, you can't check everything. He's got a toenail off. Is this and that, blah blah." Mm. blah. Now they've gone that way. We don't check everything. Everyone's going, "Oh, how they miss that?" Yeah. But, but yeah. If it's, like, surely, if there's a goal, but, you come back two or three phases and just yeah. check that. Well, I think it was very, very obvious because it was. So is it the actual header or cross to Tony? Right, who scored the goal? So it's very, very obvious that he was in an offside position. And what, just Tony laid it out to Gary, <laughs> and he put it into yeah, Steve. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, and then David Tony. at the back post. Oh, right, all right. Um, so I, I, I do think it's human error, but that's the problem. You know, VAR will weigh up eventually over the course of the season. I think. Yeah, you know, you'll get some yeah. decisions. Which they, they completely didn't they mess admit up. that they uh, Howard yeah. Webb he basically called the yeah, straight well away. and good after he'd, the fact yeah. Yeah. he admitted but I like, you know, I yeah. like the fact but to be fair Howard no, Webb's now in charge of the referees he yeah. actually said we've got to get to the like, sort of work it out like, admit mm. when we've done wrong mm. yeah, yeah. look at how we sort and to be yeah. fair before is it Ro Mike Riley or whatever his name is he used to be like no no there's nothing wrong like just ignore it yeah, not yeah. speak to the clubs just yeah. and that, yeah. so hopefully I mean you're not going to stop all of it but I know this I know this process I don't know yeah if, yeah. If there's a foul, there's a goal scored. There's mm. you've got to go back a couple yeah. of phases, have a look, and then you'll know, wouldn't you? Not oh, they've scored a goal. That'll be all right. Mm. Do you, do Surely you, there's got to be. Some do you check. want it to check every decision though? No, well, no, no, not every decision. Yeah. But every major pot. I mean, if there's a goal, come back two phases, check there's no offside. Mm. Job done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the offside rule. Yeah, that's clear and easy to should be yeah. clear and yeah. easy to check. Yeah. You know, free kick. Well, free kicks you can't do because that's just too too much to do. Red cards, again, that's normally quite simple. But again, you, know, you slow something down, it makes it look oh, 100 it times like worse. Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah, tackles yeah. look like they've broke someone's leg. Yeah. Like, yeah. No, if you sit in real time play, mm. it doesn't... It's and, and then, like even penalties at times, they are sort of subjective. You know, some, some of them are very, very clear. Yeah. But others, it's down to your personal opinion yeah. whether you think it was a foul or it's just, you know, a, a little nudge. And he's made the most of it, you know. Yeah. I know, yeah, they're running quick, but... Ah, yeah, and that's what it's like, you know. I didn't put any weight on you, um, so yeah, it's only so much you can. <laughs> yeah, in turn, and I know this is a conversation. It's 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 there's no point in having this conversation. We're going to have it anyway. Do you do we think VAR is a good idea? Do you like? So I, me personally, I'd get rid of it. Let's go back to you're going to get things wrong. I like the fact that you sometimes got it right, and sometimes you got away with it, and things like. That. I know we're never going to get there, but I, do you think VAR's made the, the game better it needs I wouldn't say it's made the game better you need VAR but leave the fucking decision making to the man on the field yeah he makes the decision unless they have seen a blatant fucking error yeah, in his so call he's not yes. then they stand yeah. up yeah not the other way around they're making yeah. the decision you know the referee's going yeah. oh well I'm not you know what I think or... half the problem with is VAR is 
we put the pressure back on the rest. We don't remember as much when they've done something right. It, it needs one mistake that they've made, sure. missed, but 25... Think that's that's, done, a, right? that's a good point. Yeah. Remember, they're usually yeah. fucking howlers that mean no, people lose a no, game. No, that's, 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 that's a good point. Is, that's remember good point. one mistake yeah, yeah. made over ten decisions but, in a game. Yeah, but, that, that's, that's like everything, though, isn't it? Yeah. You know, in, in yeah. all walks of life. Yeah, negative. It's all negative. Walk, always yeah. wins. Yeah, yeah but they never get it right. That actually makes a difference. No, I'm not saying that's a good They might get it right for a foul. They never get it right when it's actually like game change. That's the problem. They fuck up and fuck up. They do get it right. Yeah, well, they, yeah, game they, changing. They get it right, but it's never a game changing right decision, is it? For the for the good. Well, I mean. uh, yeah, it was for Brentford Arsenal. Yeah, yeah that's, well, that's yeah. not for the good. Yeah, but it wasn't it was right decision, though, was it? It, it was the good if you're not an Arsenal fan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I yeah. thought it was <laughs> fucking in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think, I think yeah. for everyone else, it was <laughs> lovely, yeah. 45,000 views coming in on a short <laughs> soon. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I thought it was. <laughs> I thought it was brilliant. But well, so what, what do you think, Kev? Var better, made it better, not made it better? No, I think they've overcomplicated it. Yeah. Now, I understand Didn't referees can question. do with... <laughs> Shut up. Don't interrupt. Um, <laughs> Sorry. But I don't... I mean, they ain't going to get rid of it. It's cost too much money. No, 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 don't get rid of it. But I just, you know, as a fan... Um, oh, yeah, I'd love it just go. Because I never yeah. knew it was that bad. I no, don't yeah. ever remember it being that bad that we were all like, well, we need help. It just... You'd put up... I don't know. You kind of accepted it when a referee yeah. made a mistake. Yeah. You, you was annoyed like about it being. over the course of a happen. season. It'd it be like, oh, yeah, Man yeah, United it, and Liverpool. It, yeah. Oh, Howard Webb's the referee. Oh, you know, United have got their extra yeah, yeah, Well, well <laughs> it doesn't matter who's the referee. How, uh, Old Trafford, it's yeah. like oh, nothing. Right. Yeah. Mo Salah, da- uh, Tom Daly on the floor. <laughs> Tom Daly, he's, he's, he's a diver, isn't he? Oh, yeah, I see. I, 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 I get, out. Out. I get a reference now. Yeah. <laughs> the worst bit about VAR is not my dad's celebrated goal. Yeah, 100%. Shocking. Yeah, Yeah, that is bad. But... Oh, well, okay. After right, well, that uh, wraps up everything, I think, for this week. Um, as always, thank you very much for commenting, liking, and sharing. Um, really, we should have mentioned this at the beginning. Um, we've broke over 100,000 views now. We've gone way over our ever anticipated this, this podcast would ever do. Um, so thank you for... Everyone that's watched, if you're watching <laughs> Thanks this, Thanks for putting up with us. Yeah, yeah I mean Thank it's incredible. You. It's it's the podcast is is way exceeding what we ever expected it to be. Um, so yeah, thank you. But keep commenting, keep sharing. Um, we talk about and, fan um, reaction as well if people want to get. Yeah, on. so again, fan reaction. You might have seen it. We we need to get small fans. So if you're a Liverpool fan, Arsenal fan, any fan in the Premier League, what? Um, they're not, they're not in the Premier I'll League, Kev. Oh my fucking hell, Kev. I'll do a post this week and put it out on the. Yeah. So we um yeah so we need more fans. So if you're fans of any team in the Premier League, get in contact because we're running out fan reactions. So we're trying to pick a team every every week um, before the games. We don't know whether it'll be a good reaction or a bad reaction. And then we're going to get your thing. We did, uh, Stu Whiteman did uh, Spurs for us uh, this week, which was after great. they got beat by Leicester. Yeah, after they got beat by Leicester. He so looked a bit shell-shocked, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was a bit shell-shocked yeah. with the results, to be fair. It was uh, surprising. So yeah, fan reaction, get in contact with us. Um, we'd love to hear you. And uh, yeah, stay tuned and we'll see you again next week. 